viewers welcome to my youtube channel america stitches today i'm going to be illustrating on how to make um, a shape dress how to make a shape dress and i'm, I'm going to this is the white fabric i'm going to use this two yards of fabric and we're going to use ankara to come do the combo for the sleeve and the collar so we're going to set to work but before then this is the measurement that is required the full length half length hips shoulder shape bust and the hips line so where is set to work please if you're new to the channel don't fail to subscribe click on the notification button to be notified on new videos thank you and don't fail to leave a comment on the comment section so you could know how to save you thank you okay firstly i will show you on how to fold it open up the fabric i'm going to place to fold the back piece first before placing to bring out the the front so, and fold back piece first i'm going to use the highest measurement that we have there which is the hips and the hips here is 40 the traditional allowance of um, two inches for seam allowance this is it. And use your tape to check first. And if you are 40 years, is 10. And we two. So you're going to shift it out because this is too big already. Too, too big. Shed dress, like the one you've seen on the thumbnail. And that. Okay, let me still confirm. Those 40, we still have big, bigger this thing, so I'm still shifting it out. Okay, use it, it's still more than you required. So you shift it out till you have the okay. I think we can get set to work now. It's dating. So after the fold, you fold it with two inches. Use the bigger part of the this thing, which is 40, the hips. So the next thing step I'm going to take is to measure out the full length. So as you can see here, it's not erect, but you try to make it to be on the same line. So I'm going to cut it out, trim it out, so that we can have. The, okay. So I'll start by taking my shoulder here. Shoulder here is um, 15 divided by 2. We have 7 half. Then I'll mark my arm O here, which is 8. I'll connect it. Yeah, I'll mark the bust here. Yeah. Bust is 37 and 37 divided by 2 by 4. Sorry, we have 9 quarter. 9 quarter. Then we add seam allowance of 2 inches. I'm going to round it. Okay, and you still place tape up here and mark out the half length which is 15. You mark out your hip line which is 24, then your full length and the bending allowance. This time you're not turning it, so the only bending allowance I'm going to put is just one inch. The full length here is 40. I'm putting bending allowance of one inch. To draw them out, and that's how it is. Then, on the line of the shape, I'm going to mark out sorry, on the half length, I'm going to mark out the shape which is 30. 30 divided by 4, we have 7 half, and it's still 2 inches allowance. Now, mark the hips on the hip line which is 40. I'll still fix by two inches for the seam allowance. Then I'll connect the lines to the down part here. Start from the bust area. 
to the shape and to from the shape to the hips and from the hips you take it down this for the hips to bring it out very well to avoid error you can use your hips cuff that's how it is this one is not this other line is not included take it down okay on the upper part here to have the conclusion of the, the down part here you come up here by two inches so you go round it down that's how it's gonna look like Then you slip the shoulder by one inch as usual, the way we do. Now, the neckline, since I would rather want my back to be a little bit longer than the front, so for the neckline, I'm going to take up here yeah, three inches as the neck width, three inches, and the neck depth, I'm using only 0 0.5 as a quarter. 0.5 but that's all we have for the back except you want to insert your dart but in this case you don't want my plan does not want a dart so there's no need you want to insert your dart you can still mark it out but she doesn't need a dart so that's all we have for the back. I'm going to cut it out now so as to place it and bring out the front. For the back bodies, I'm going to fold while folding the front. If I put the back on it, I'm going to put two in 2.5 inches for the buttonhole allowance. Two point five inches. You notice this side is not equal, so I'm going to trim it out to have an equal on this side, so I won't have error. Like I said, you're going to mark out your 2.5 first. You check if the 12 accommodates with the 2.5. We have excess already. So I'm going to mark out 2.5 here. That's two half. Two half. Two half. Two half, two half, let's 
most of the problems is not so if I'm trying to explain it, so you won't have issues. Yes. Okay. I think this is too half. So you forgo this other line and then you know, then you want to please the practice on it. Yeah. And this time I'm going to pull it out by, mm -hmm. by one or half inch here. Yeah. Is that what gonna be? Push it out a little bit by 0 0.5 because this way you're going to bend it in. So I'm going to still, I'm going to cut it off now and then the same with me. Then I will tap, I will notch here so I won't have issues. I'm going to notch here so I could not it to have because I'm taking out the neckline now. So I will still mark out the three. But this time it's going to be three and two half. Take after the, I'll take three inches here. Then I will take two half here. Connect them. When cutting, you not cut directly, so you're going to pull it out here, take it up a little bit like this, so that when you're folding, you won't have issue. When you're folding it after applying your gum stay, and when you're folding it, you won't have issues. So I'm going to take it. I've taken it up by half inches. I'm going to cut it out now. And I'll slip the shoulder as well. Okay, then we're going to come in here. Don't forget the arm over here. We're going to come in here by one inch. You place your tape first like this. If you notice the eight here is not the same like the other one. We are going to take the eight down. Mm -hmm. Then you come in here by the four. Check where you have four half and you come in by one inch. So you won't have a puff. Yeah, I'm 
example will look like for the front and the notch here for the folding like I said in my previous video before you can determine the color to fix you have to join it first the first step is for you to apply your gun stay here or ST uh -huh, here to chicken it and you fold it in to create the bottom O. Have you seen what I said? Yes, you create it in to form the bottom O. Then you join the shoulder. You after joining the shoulder, you measure you take your measurements from where you have the first side of the bottom hole here around. Take it around to this other last point. That's what you use to create your color. So for now we cannot, but you can watch my previous video on how to make shapes. You see how to cut the color. And for the sleeve also, you can watch my other videos too to check how to cut the sleeve. I have made a previous video on how to make the sleeve. Cut the sleeve, sorry. Thank you very much. Hope you learned something.